NVIDIA open source drivers, now in 3D! If you're like me and you've ever used the NVIDIA open source driver provided by any Linux distribution, you know that it's not going to work on 3D. That is until now. Welcome to another This Week in Linux Brief. With most modern Linux distributions, if you choose to go with the open source driver for your video card, you get no 3D support. If any, you get very, very little 3D support. With Fedora 13 coming out at the beginning of May, it looks like they're going to be shipping the Nouveau Gallium 3D driver, which enables 3D experimental support for a lot of games and some possibly desktop effects and a few other things. A Red Hat developer mentioned on his blog that he managed to get Gallium 3D working with the Spring RTS framework, Compiz, Neverball, Foo Billard, and Quake 3. Yes, they're all OpenGL games, but that's a great sign. According to the Nouveau Wiki, any 3D functionality that might exist is still unsupported. Do not ask for instructions to try it, but you can read the how-to in case you're brave enough. So basically, it is still extremely experimental, but from what I've read, they've made a lot of big strides. And just yesterday, February 17th, Pharonix.com released some benchmarks that they did of some OpenGL games in Linux with the Gallium 3D driver. Looking at the graphs on the Pharonix.com website, the NVIDIA proprietary driver is somewhere between 5 and 15 times faster on these OpenGL games than the Nouveau Gallium 3D driver, but that's to be expected. This is a brand new experimental project and they've got nowhere to go from up. They're reverse engineering the NVIDIA proprietary drivers to make it work. So for them to be at the 100 to 200 frames per second mark on these 3D games, huge. Big deal there. We look forward to seeing a lot of big things from the Nuvo Gallium 3D project in the next few months. And of course, the Fedora 13 Alpha will be available at the beginning of March, so I'll probably be downloading a copy and putting it on my laptop just to see what happens, to see how that 3D works out. Well, that's all I gotta say about Gallium 3D support and the Nuvo driver. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.